This video will show how to use Desmos.com to determine normal distribution probabilities when given z-scores. Given a data set is normally distributed, determine the probability that a randomly selected data value has a z-score in the given interval. Give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places and a percent to one decimal place. For part A, we want to find the probability the z-score is greater than 0.4. For a quick review, a z-score or standard score is the number of standard deviations a specific data value is from the mean of the distribution. If we plot z-scores on a normal distribution, it is called the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that always has a population mean of zero and a population standard deviation of one. So again, for our first example, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is greater than 0.4. To begin, we go to desmos.com, click Start Graphing. Notice by default the cursor is in cell 1. We need to open the Desmos keyboard by clicking the Show Keyboard button in the lower left hand corner. Next, we click Functions, then click Distributions, then click Normal Distributions. Notice normal distribution appears here in the cell. The next step is to adjust the window by clicking the zoom fit button here on the left. Now looking at the graph, we have a nice graph of the normal distribution. And by default, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. And therefore, this is the standard normal distribution. And we have z-scores along the horizontal axis. Next, we click the box to find cumulative probability, or CDF, here. Notice when we do this, the area under the curve is shaded, and the minimum value is negative infinity, the maximum value is infinity. A minimum value of negative infinity would be along the horizontal axis to the left, and a maximum value of infinity would be along the horizontal axis to the right. And because we're looking for the probability the z-score is greater than 0.4, 0.4 is going to be the minimum, so we enter 0.4 for the minimum. And we leave the maximum at infinity. Now looking at the graph, notice how the area under the normal distribution curve to the right of 0.4 is now shaded. This area represents the probability the z-score is greater than 0.4. And that probability shows as a decimal here at the bottom of cell one to three decimal places, we have approximately 0.345, which is a percentage is 34.5%. Next, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.2. So now when we go back to the graph, because we want z to be less than negative 1.2, negative 1.2 is going to be the maximum, and the minimum is going to be negative infinity. So again, going back to our graph, because we want z to be less than negative 1.2, let's change the maximum to negative 1.2. And then we want to graph the area to the left approaching negative infinity, and therefore we change the minimum to negative infinity, which we can easily do just by clearing the 0.4. And if we click out of this cell, it automatically changes back to negative infinity. And looking at the graph, notice how we do have the area shaded below the curve to the left of the z-score of negative 1.2. This area represents the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.2, which shows here as a decimal to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.115, which is a percentage is 11.5%. And for our last example, we want to find the probability that the z-score is greater than negative 2.3 and less than 1.2. So now our minimum z-score is going to be negative 2.3, and the maximum will be 1.2. So going back to our graph one more time, let's change the minimum to negative 2.3, and the maximum to 1.2. Looking at the graph, notice how we have the area shaded below the curve between the z-scores of negative 2.3 and 1.2. This area represents the probability the z-score is in this interval which to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.874, which is equal to 87.4%.
I hope you found this helpful.